have to be a bit of an exhibitionist to be fashionable. It's all a question of personal taste. And blogger Sarah Jasmine Noaje doesn't see any reason why style and modesty should be mutually exclusive, as she explained to Michelle. It was the kind of day when Table Mountain becomes the perfect backdrop for a fashion shoot, which was precisely what was in progress when Michal arrived at Blaberg Strand. Sarah Jasmine was directing and keeping a close eye on every detail. A fashionista is best described as someone who is devoted to fashion, definitely does not follow trends, but rather creates them. One such person is Sarah Jasmine Waje, who has filled a gap in the market by taking a more modest approach to style. After starting out as a model, Cape Town-based Sarah Jasmine decided to apply her eye and instinct for style from the other side of the camera as a stylist and blogger. Her innovative approach soon made her a noted influencer and she's barely 20-something. What is happening here today? Well, today we're shooting for our portfolios. Um, we got two models and I decided that I want to style them and go all crazy today. Now you are known as the modest blogger. How did that come about? I love fashion, so I try to implement modesty with fashion and that's how I became the modest blogger. That's where I got the name from and yeah, that's basically who I am right now. Well, Sarah Jasmine, it's also about the fashion that you choose. I want to wear clothing that is not Islamic and try to implement it in a, in a way or wear it to make people see that we can wear it Islamically. There's nothing wrong with the clothing that they make right, right now with the generation and everything going on in the 21st century and that we're not old. I mean, we can touch things up and make it look fashionably, you know, modest. So, oh, I needed to know there's one more shoot I need to do. Are you able to stay over? Great, I'll be here. Well, I'm definitely liking the touch of blue that she's chosen. Hard at work over here. Now, Sarah follows a more modest approach. How have you used this to your advantage? With modest fashion, she wears a scarf, obviously, and that gives me an advantage because I can do whatever I want with her face because the focus is drawn more to her face. And tell me about some of the features and highlights that you've created with her look. I went for a gold lid because I find with darker skin tones, gold complements it more as opposed to the white highlights or the pink highlights. Now, Sarah, this is one of your own creations. Talk me through it. Uh, my mom's the pattern maker of this dress and my granny, my favorite, has sewed it for me. I went for this because I was looking for something older. I wanted to look really classy and I wanted to have like this sort of elegant feel because I feel like a queen all the time, so I decided, okay, today, I'm I'm gonna look like one. Elegant and regal indeed, but I see Rizby is ready for your photo shoot. Wow. Yeah, I can see that's the one. She's got it. Zara, how do you manage being in front of the camera and behind? I manage because I really enjoy my job. I love what I do, so being behind scenes and you know being on board with everything, it's just it's a to totally different ball game and it's always exciting. Is this an industry that you've always wanted to be in? I pictured myself being a teacher and I thought of myself, you know, spreading knowledge. But I feel that with my blogging I'm still spreading knowledge. I'm still helping people and teaching them about modesty and I'm also teaching them about myself, you know. And you've also created a second look for yourself today. What can we expect? I've found that orange looks amazing on my skin, so I just decided to do a burnt orange and gold because gold is one of my favorite colors. Well, that's a top tip, isn't it? Know your color. That's something that I live by. When I try to dress myself, I try to do stuff that will enhance my features and enhance my color to make me look bright as a person and, you know, to express my personality. So that's something I think people should do all the time. And that way they will look happy all the time. She works every angle, doesn't she? What's it like working with her? It's just something about her. I love her unique take on fashion and we've been working so close that we've actually became friends. And because of that, the photographs come out amazing. Sara, they really are looking great. How have people responded to your unique approach to fashion? Well, it's been very, very positive. Uh, not necessarily just in South Africa, but you know, all around the globe. I've even um, come to work with magazines outside of South Africa, like the Dubai, Dubai Eagle magazine and the Islamic Fashion Design Council. I am now a council member and I'm contributing and I think that's really amazing. It's an achievement for me as well. What does the future hold for you? I see myself becoming a very successful businesswoman. I would like to expand and allow people to know why I'm through a brand that I would, you know, launch by myself. But that's really what I want to do. Sara, thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to seeing all your fashionable posts. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me on the show. And I really appreciate it. Sarah is a young business-minded woman who carved out a spot in the fashion world. 
Now there's nothing modest about her determination and the hard work that she's put into being one of South Africa's top fashion bloggers.